Welcome back to Mainly Everything. My name is John. I wanted to show you guys these guys right here. Um, this is a three piece husky inside pipe wrench set. Um, basically, what I'm going to be using these for is mostly I'll be using the half inch um, one, and it's for pulling nipples um, out of walls, like behind. Uh, um, in tubs, basically, that's mostly my thought process in getting them. Mind you, um, it'll be good to have. Comes with a 3 8 3 quarter, and half inch. Um, seems pretty decent quality. The cams, uh, seem to spin good. So what you do, basically, is you kind of align it so it's flush, put it in your pipe, whatever, and you start spinning it. Eventually it'll catch. It is kind of a little bit tricky to catch it once in a while, but you get it eventually. It also looks like it has a little Allen key too, which is kind of odd. But um, like I said, I'll be using this half inch one most of the time. These are about 10 bucks for the whole set. Um, and um, come with a lifetime warranty because husky. So basically what you do is say you have a nipple in the wall behind, like you took your tub spout off or whatever. Um, I replaced a lot of Galvy ones of these or um, we, we run into some black iron ones, um, hell even brass ones and stuff. Everything will corrode eventually, but um, basically slide it in and these can loosen or tighten. So it's just basically wherever you, wherever you can get it to, uh, Wherever you can get it to catch, so you'd use something like this on one side, um, and then you'd use, or you wouldn't need to use anything else, but since, you know, for my demonstration, we'll use this. That's caught right now, and it fucking holds, that's for sure. Um, I haven't had a chance to use these yet. Uh, I've used a bunch of regular extractors. Um, those seem to work good, the ones that just have the splines on them, you just tap it into your nipple or whatever and you can spin it. Um, like I said, this is the one I'm gonna probably keep with me all the time. I'll throw these in the in the van. Um, but they're good for installing obviously too. Um, so you don't have to get a you know pipe wrench or anything on these strides if you're working with really small nipples like this. Obviously if you have a lot of clearance obviously you can use a pipe wrench or anything like that. But yeah, figured I'd uh, just show them. I was going to do a short on this, but figured a little bit longer of a video would be better. Um, I think they're a really good buy for 10 bucks or 10 or 12 bucks, whatever that, whatever the heck they were. Um, if anything ever breaks with them, you just bring them back to Home Depot to replace them for free. Uh, it's a good part of it. Good part about Husky stuff is normally they have a really good warranty and they are very local to most people. Home Depot is very local to a lot of people, but um, also, um, this is my blab part of the, blab about random stuff part of the, uh, part of the video. Um, hope you've been doing well. Um, I'm gonna be gone for a few days, so I won't have a couple videos, or I'm gonna try to get a couple videos and schedule them for then, but I won't have much service. I'm going up to Kakajo in Maine. Um, going camping, very well, it's not really camping, it's more just going up to camp for a few days. Um, I don't think I have good service up there, so I'll have to post them and then put them to, uh, public. Um, it's gonna rain all week, the whole week, where, or, well, I'm only up there for a few days, but it'll, it'll be raining for a lot of it, but that's okay. Vacation's vacation, right? If I don't have to work, you know, that's good enough. Um, Yeah. Not much else going on with me. Hopefully you're all doing great. Um, I appreciate the support in the channel. Actually, I think I have to get a root canal, unfortunately. Um, I had a filling that... A, an old filling I got when I was a kid, apparently, that they had to re-drill and do a new for some reason. And I got it done about a week and a half ago, and it's all wicked sensitive now, so... I can't drink any liquids or eat anything cold on that side. or Kind of a pain. Hopefully that goes well because I don't really want to lose a tooth, but yeah, okay, I'm done blabbing. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Um, appreciate you. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.